Hello guys, uh, I welcome you again uh, to this uh, second lecture of Apache Storm. Uh, in the first lecture, I just introduced what is Apache Storm and uh, why it is required, why there is a hype about Apache Storm, right? So I hope uh, you must have understood the first lecture. If you still have any confusion, any question, I'm open up to all the questions um, uh, and you can ask, right? Uh, okay, let's discuss the second point. Uh, like after discussing the introduction, let's discuss the components of Apache Storm. Let's start it. Okay, uh, like uh, in the Hadoop also, like uh, you must have uh, learned that there are multiple components of Apache Tube with the likes of HDFS MapReduce. In addition, uh, in the same way, in the Apache Storm, we have some set of components, right? Uh, there's a lot of similarity between Apache Storm and uh, Apache Hadoop, like both follows the master-slave model. It, it means we have some master and we have some workers and uh, master will be uh, ordering some uh, task and uh, workers has to do. Uh, like in the Apache Hadoop, uh, we have a, ma a master like in the case of uh, like which was job tracker and the slaves were task tracker, right, in the map reduce. In a similar way, in the, Ap in the Apache Storm, it follows the same model. In this case, the master and slave processes will be coordinated through the zookeeper. Um, uh, I know that you must be wondering that what this zookeeper is all about. Don't worry, we'll be discussing in upcoming lectures. Uh, just for that moment, I can discuss, I can just let you know that it's all also one of the product from Apache Foundation, which is there to coordinate or th th there's, it's, it's there for the coordination between two processes. So like uh, the depth of it will be discussed in later slides. I hope uh, you must have understood that uh, it's following the master slave model. Let's move forward. Okay, so these are the three major components of Apache Storm, right? The first is Nimbus, second one is Supervisor, third one is Zookeeper. Nimbus, uh, like uh, it is the uh, master in, Apache, in the Storm cluster. It is responsible for distributing the application code across various worker nodes like uh, again like as i have already have said that there are a lot of similarity between uh, storm and hadoop so nimbus you can think it is a kind of a job tracker who will be the master of the cluster second one is supervisor it is the worker uh, like as the name suggests supervisor um, uh, it will be the one who will be doing the task what what I, what uh, what i were given by nimbus and third one is zookeeper Zookeeper is there to coordinate between Nimbus and Supervisor. So let's discuss in little more detail. First, introducing Nimbus. So Nimbus is a master in Storm cluster, right? Uh, though, so you know all know that uh, the master has to instruct its workers uh, to do the task. So the uh, the master will not do the task of its own. It will distribute the task among the workers. It just monitor what is going on in the topology. So it's responsible for the uh, distributing the application uh, code across various worker nodes that can, you can see on the screen, assigning the tasks to different machines, monitoring that what is happening or what's going wrong or what's going right. So task for any kind of failures and restarting them as and when it's required. So all the administration will be done by the Nimbus. So like Nimbus is a stateless. I hope uh, you guys are aware of the term state. It means that uh, whether we are storing some information about the previous instance or not. So Nimbus is stateless. So it is heavily relying on the zookeeper for storing its data. So like uh, there is only single Nimbus node in the storm cluster. So Nimbus is entirely dependent upon zookeeper for uh, storing its data. So it is designed to be fail fast. Uh, the, the meaning of fail fast is that if the when the Nimbus dies, so it can be restarted without bothering or without having any effects on already running task on the worker nodes. Like here we have some difference between the um, Hadoop and Storm, right? Like unlike Hadoop, where if the job tracker dies, all the running jobs are left in inconsistent state and need to be executed again. But it's not in the case of Storm, right? It's fail fast. So like if the, if the, if the, the master dies, so it can be restarted without bothering the other task. So this is the like plus point or this is the advantage or edge over the Hadoop. Next one is supervisor, like it's a worker node. Like in the case of uh, Hadoop, we were having the task tracker. So here we are having the su supervisor. So each supervisor node uh, runs a supervisor daemon. Daemon, I hope you all uh, knows that 
daemons are the processes which runs in the background right so it is responsible for creating starting and stopping worker processes so like uh, like the nimbus the master given the instruction to supervisor supervisor further like uh, like distributing the task to the workers so here uh, it is responsible for creating starting and stopping workers processes to execute the task assigned to that node like uh, nimbus supervisor diamond is also a fail fast like um, like i have already explained in the previous slide like um, if the nimbus fails then uh, there will be no bothering or there will be the other task will not be will not got affected the same truth for the true for the supervisor right and the similar to the nimbus it also store all of its state information in the zookeeper like in the operating system the processes store the information in the process control block like in the case of the purchase rom the both nimbus and supervisor store its states in zookeeper so that like if there is any loss right if there is any problem then we can restart uh, without starting from the scratch so this is a quite a plus point for us right and last point is zookeeper so zookeeper in any distributed application various processes need some coordination because like we have have multiple nodes available so if there if there's no sync between these things like uh, will be there'll be a lot of mess over there right so we need to coordinate among various processes for this we need one product so zookeeper is that is there for you to just to like uh, provide the coordination among various processes so storm uses the zookeeper cluster to coordinate various processes so like uh, the detail of it will be discussed later on but like uh, for now just remember it's a tool it's a product which is there to coordinate among the nimbus and supervisor so nimbus and supervisor uh, doesn't uh, communicate directly like in the case of like uh, if you talk about the uh, real time scenario like we have a uh, agents right uh, like or brokers uh, like we 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 don't uh, like as a as a we uh, i'm the one who gonna sell my house or like uh, the, there's a one customer who gonna want to buy a house so like we we first both don't uh, like both the customer and the seller uh, don't like interact uh, like each other directly so they they interact via some brokers the same way the nimbus and supervisor don't directly communicate right they they need some uh, like some intermediate uh, like uh, which is zookeeper right so all the data as i've already stated will be stored in zookeeper just to summarize this lecture like this is the one like it's a graphical representation that how we can represent the things in which we have the three layers uh, available first is nimbus second is zookeeper which is nothing but uh, like which is helping the nimbus and supervisor coordinate that's why we have a uh, bidirectional arrows so that like supervisor can interact with zookeeper and vice versa that's all this is how how the zoo, the storm uh, cluster looks like i hope uh, you must have understood this lecture as well the second uh, lecture of this apache storm series and still uh, i'm open to all the questions if you have if you have any confusion i'll be uh, addressing those stuff um, i hope you must have understood this thing as well so looking forward to the third lecture